I'm on a road trip from Stockholm to the far north of Sweden to see all kinds of weird and wonderful things along the way. On my way north in Sweden, I've come across something pretty interesting. This is the high coast area, and uh, a guy called Jonas Nettelund was born here in 1924. But uh, he moved to Stockholm, where he lived and worked all his life, and uh, apparently he didn't really spend much money, because, uh, well, when he died in 1995, he donated millions and millions to a foundation to do art installations in the high coast area. This is the High Coast Art Valley, and behind me is one of these installations, Wave. Looks wavy enough, doesn't it? But uh, let's have a look at some more art installations. This installation is called Kaleidoscope, on a platform of concrete. Pretty weird, but uh, then again, all art is weird, isn't it? They don't make it easy to find the art installations because, uh, I mean, there are no signs. You have to know what you're looking for. And on the web page, they have a map, but it's the crappiest map ever. But according to the map, there should be an artwork here. Maybe it's that one. <laughs> have they removed it or is that the art? I don't know. <laughs> There's supposed to be an installation here, but uh, I don't know. There's a closed off area and uh, <laughs> it looks used. Is this art? I don't know. I guess that could be art. Is this art? Does it look art to you? The thing about Jonas Nettelund is that no one really knows why he donated all that money for art. He was a pretty reclusive guy and he didn't exactly show a big art interest while alive. But uh, people speculate that uh, he might have grown a big art interest in the latter parts of his life or he simply felt that he wanted to give something back to his community. I don't think this is part of the art exhibition, but it's pretty interesting anyway. What's with all these stones? Are they small faces? Small trolls? And it's apparently not just traditional art. They also have some graffiti. Well, urban touches out in the wilderness. A map of the High Coast Art Valley area. So we are here. And yeah, there's Wolf Island and there's artwork spread out all over the place. Why am I taking you on a stroll through the forest instead of showing you more art, you may ask. Well, that's because I think there is some art hidden away here. Like this one, for example. Is this art? <laughs> you tell me. I don't know. <laughs> Let's inspect it anyway. Oh, it's actually not art. It's an insect hotel. It's a bug hotel. That is so cool. <laughs> so there are places for the bees and, uh, well, wasps, I guess. Spiders. Fuck that. I'm not getting close. <laughs> this is an art installation, though. It's called the uh, wind chime. Very imaginative. And it doesn't really chime, does it? It's more of a clutter. It's not art, but it's pretty cool. A frozen little puddle. I like it. Better than most of the art installations so far. I'm really starting to question what is art, what is not art? <laughs> is this art? No, it's just a place to have barbecues, I guess. So, do you think Jonas Nettelund would have been proud of how they're spending his money? Oh, crap. I almost missed something here. Look at this. What the hell is that? He's almost dipping his toes in the frozen water. And uh, what's with that face? Look at him. Is it a troll? So what do you think? Is this art or not art? I'm guessing uh, not art. <laughs> There's a huge amount of places. Look at that. You can bring your whole family and your neighbor's family and a bloody football team as well. I think this is art. It's very interesting anyway. Come on, let's knock on it. See what it's made of. Stone. It's a dragon egg, I hope. I wish. Oh, look how nice. A wishing well. What am I gonna wish for? 
I wish that uh, there was more daylight. Bloody hell, the days are so short up here. It gets dark really early. Oh, look at this cute art installation. Can you guess what it's called? It's called hair. <laughs> People have no imagination sometimes. The High Coast Art Valley, it may not be really flashy. <laughs> it's not extravagant, it's not uh, gaudy, but uh, it's interesting. And uh, it makes for a nice scavenger hunt, a treasure hunt. You never know what you're gonna find at the different installations. So, uh, can I recommend it? Yes, but uh, don't travel far distances to get here. Just uh, if you're in the neighborhood, swing by. Have a look at all the different types of art you can find. Well, that was a tiny portion of what you can see at the High Coast Art Valley. I hope you had a good time. I had fun, even though I'm almost freezing to death here. <laughs> It was fun to walk around on a little scavenger hunt trying to find art. But uh, now I need to get indoors and uh, you like and subscribe, but most importantly, have a great day. Well, that's an interesting car. <laughs> I'm not sure what to say.